We have to wonder here about a number of questions. Why does the United States, why does Europe assume a certain right over the Middle East? Would we be doing this during this weekend in South America, in Sub-Saharan Africa, in Asia? Where but in the Middle East would be presuming, would we be presuming to challenge a despot for his conduct against his own people? Is it the people of the Middle East who give us this special dispensation to enforce our will in the region? Has there been a demonstration to this effect? A mass uprising in the Arab street demanding that we step in, that we act to overthrow Gaddafi, one of their own? So is it the people we care about or is it the Mideast? And with what special constitutional authority does the president act here? With what authority from the people of the region or the people of our own country? These are good questions to ask. Why are we not hearing them asked? I'm going to read this, and then I'll tell you who said it. The president does not have power under the Constitution to unilaterally authorize a military attack in a situation that does not involve stopping an actual or imminent threat to the nation. Now, that was Barack Obama who said that on December the 20th, uh, two, uh, 2007. Uh, we've got to be very sure here that we follow the Constitution, and President Obama didn't do that. Well, but I want to ask you about something you've been involved with. You said that if the President of the United States had launched an attack on Iran without congressional approval, that would have been an impeachable offense. Do you want to review Absolutely. that comment you made? Well, how do you stand on that now? Yes, do you think I do. I want to stand by that comment I made. The reason I made the comment was as a warning. The reason I made, I don't say those things lightly, Chris. You've known me for a long time. I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee for 17 years or its ranking member. I teach separation of powers and constitutional law. This is something I know. So I got together and brought a group of constitutional scholars together to write a piece that I'm going to deliver to the whole United States Senate pointing out the president has no constitutional authority to take this nation to war against a country of 70 million people unless we're attacked or unless there is proof that we are about to be attacked. And if he does, if he does, I would move to impeach him. The House obviously has to do that, but I would lead an effort to impeach him. They don't like the way you're handling the situation in the Arab world, so I would advise you to be careful and move with wisdom and skill. My advice would be, why don't you organize a group of respected Americans and ask for a meeting with Gaddafi? You can't order him to step down and get out. Who the hell do you think you are? That you can talk to a man that built a country over 42 years and ask him step down and get out? Can anybody ask you? Well, well, there's a lot now going to ask you <laughs> to step out of the White House because they don't want no black face in the White House. Be careful, brother, how you handle this situation because it is coming to America. It has already started.